All right there, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rick, you can you can bomb my video gate. We got to use up that Facebook bandwidth. Go ahead. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I had somebody out there the other day uh, who was telling me that they can't let their wife come into the radio room when I'm on there. And then, of course, I had to do my uh, my little slow down and uh, give him the old Barry White part of the show, Roger. <laughs> I love it. I, I I love it. Well, you know, I, I, I tell everybody, you know, people don't like to go on the media, and I, I agree with them because it's filthy. It's, it's, you know, but I'm using it against them. I want to use their resources and their bandwidth, their video time. Uh, I used to host uh, websites and everything like that, and I know the value and the cost. I remember in the old days, I was paying up to 50000 a month and uh, uh, IP uh, bandwidth there, so they're, they're, we're going to use it to the end. Go ahead. Hey, Raj, on that, you got to make sure you tag me on that gate, though. Well, I will definitely tag you on this one. In fact, I just started uh, another gate specifically for you. I try to not blend other stations together because I want people to feel, you know, comfortable that you know it's, it's like it's like being interviewed kind of thing. And I want people to adjust their equipment. They can make changes. They can say whatever they want. And we'll get this uh, documented. Because once it goes up to the cloud, it's going to be there for hundreds of years, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I run that uh, YouTube page, and I do a bunch of video games. But uh, there's not a whole lot of them on there of me. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I get a lot of video games sent to me. But... Uh, it's uh you know like you said man when you when you when you're working with your audio man it's it's like a non-stop thing you constantly working at it right it never ends um that's why i'll use another rig to uh i'll throw like a you know a 60 db pad on the other rig in my shack so i can hear on headphones what i like the, how i sound like and there's always a little tweaking constantly going on and uh, otherwise, I call it the sanity check because um, you can go insane trying to adjust your equipment and it never ends. Like even the distance talking with the microphone, staying monotone levels, uh, you know, not screaming into the microphone like you're at a ballpark, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that, man. It, that, you know, that's a hard one. That's a hard one to get used to. Uh, I mean, a lot of us guys, we're wearing our headphones while we're talking, too. So you, you tend to talk a little bit louder with the headphones on until you get used to it now. Uh, but once you get used to it and uh, you listen to everybody out there in the last probably week, I've been told more times than any not to touch anything. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I, I don't know what you sound like in person, but... Um it's very uh, uh, translucent. It's very clear, and uh, there's no additives. Like a lot of the modern radios uh, have the processors, and they'll people that have a, a, a weak bottom end, you can hear the processors trying to boost their bottom end, low end area on the FFT, and uh, your sounds natural and that's really like that's why I like John Needlebender 35 setup because he's really I know what he sounds like in person and I also would know what he sounds like over the radio and it's very uh, translucent between the two he's made it very fluid so I appreciate that that's a lot of hard work to do yeah, it's a whole lot of work, as you know. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> uh, believe it or not, man, everybody's always, like you said, with the processor. Man, my processor goes from uh, zero to 100. It is on number two. Uh, I let everything else do the work, Roger. Yeah, exactly. You, um, you use the processor just to bump some of the... Uh, inefficiency in the bandwidth like the microphone or uh, what I've done to make up some of the imperfections in the microphone is is I made uh, you know I have the wind guard on it uh, I kind of mummified it because it's electric condensed microphone so I've physically altered it 
so that I would have minimal background noise because I got a lot of equipment running in the background with fans and stuff and I want my voice to be dominant over it and not listening to the fan and other equipment so I've had to also you know kind of focal my uh, microphone so that it's more concentrating on the voice but yeah it's a difficult process people don't appreciate it I do I appreciate it I have a good ear about it I have a fidelity speakers here uh, you know my video gates are more hi-fi quality right 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 yeah I hear you man looks like mother nature is taking a dump on us but uh, I got this IL 781 pro bike and uh, I run it into my Ukraine 10 band equalizer uh, the oh, UR 60W. Oh. And I'll tell you, playing oh, with this thing like every single it. day to get it right. And, uh, and I just leave it where it is now because I got so many compliments on it, Roger. Yeah, Roger, on that there. Well, just leave it alone. It works fine. I swung my beam uh, towards you because we're starting to sit. The, the conditions are changing. So, Rick, I want to say uh, it was a real pleasure uh, talking with you and uh, conditions are changing and other people want to use the band so with that said my friend i want to say uh happy new year go ahead before watch on that happy new year right back to you brother make sure that you uh tag me on that video okay roger absolutely you will definitely uh be video be tagged in there all righty my friend you take care and uh 73's 502 central new jersey standing by people rides on that 502 Triple seven, Tampa Bay. Go. Uh, forty-one. Let's get to number forty-one.